Collective enfranchisement is the legal process in which leaseholders come together to purchase the freehold of their building. In order to exercise this legal right, set out by the Leasehold Reform, Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, a range of qualification criteria must be met. The property must be a self-contained building or part of a building that contains at least two flats. At least two-thirds of the flats must be owned by qualifying tenants. No more than 25% of the property can be a non-residential use, such as office space or shops. Leaseholders must have a long lease with an original lease term of at least 21 years. Individual leaseholders must not own more than two flats in the building, and at least 50% of qualifying tenants must participate in the collective enfranchisement claim. Leaseholders can start the collective enfranchisement process by serving a Section 30 notice on the freeholder. This notice has a prescribed format which must be followed correctly to prevent any delays. So it's important to carry out thorough research and to seek professional assistance when required. The freeholder must serve a counter notice by the date set out in the initial notice. And this date must be at least two months from the date of the initial notice. Following this, there is likely to be a negotiation period in which both parties or their representative will attempt to agree a fair premium for the freehold purchase. If an agreement cannot be reached, either party can apply to the first tier tribunal for a determination of the premium payable to the freeholder. This application must be made at least two months, but within six months from the date of the counter notice. Both parties have 21 days in order to appeal the decision by the tribunal, after which date the determination becomes final. Once the tribunal's determination becomes final, the freeholder must provide a draft contract within 21 days and the parties are expected to enter into the contract within a period of two months. Freeholders can only prevent collective enfranchisement when the notice received is invalid or where qualification criteria is not met. In these instances, the freeholder can dispute the claim or request evidence of the leaseholder's titles to their flats in their counter notice. When a claim is disputed, leaseholders are required to apply to a tribunal for declaration that the notice is valid. Leaseholders should bear in mind that once they have served the initial notice, they will immediately become liable for the freeholder's valuation and legal costs. And altogether, the collective enfranchisement process can be quite costly. With that in mind, we suggest attempting to agree voluntary terms to acquire the freehold, as opposed to following the statutory route, as the overall costs will be considerably less and the transaction could be finalised in a shorter time frame. For more expert guidance, please subscribe to this channel. And if you require assistance with any of the topics discussed, please visit our website to explore our range of services.